Hey guys, Mike Builds, welcome back to another video. Today we're gonna be doing a little bit of a load test on my 48 volt power system. We built this a while back. If you guys check out my previous videos, we put this whole nice solar power cart together and honestly, the system has been great. I've had zero issues with it, but I've mainly been using it to power my mini splits, charge an electric car on 120, and that's it. Mainly power 120 volt loads. This is a split phase inverter, so it can do 240 volts. And I did install a big 240 volt plug. So what I'm gonna try to do in today's video is I wanna see if I can run my stove off of this because I wanna try and cook a pizza. So this is my stove, nothing crazy, just a normal stove. So we're gonna unplug it from the wall. All right, so there's the connector on the stove. It's the same one on the inverter. So now we need to plug this into the inverter. Obviously this is too short, but I do have a big extension cord. Okay, here's our big extension cord. So we have the outlet there that we need to plug into the stove. And then this will plug into our power cart. So I'm gonna go ahead and get all this hooked up. Bam, so that's plugged in. Now we're gonna take this in and go hook up the stove to it. Bam, stove connected. Wash my hands. All right, I have the pizza in the oven. Excuse me, Mr. Moose. Not for you, sir. So we're gonna go to bake, but before we start this, I wanna show you guys the state of charge of the battery system and how much power we're pulling right now. Okay, right now we're pulling 400 watts and we have 95% state of charge, so now we're gonna go kick the oven on and see how much power we're gonna pull. I'm assuming it's gonna pull about 2,500 watts. All right, let's go back to the inverter. Okay, we're pulling about 3,000 watts or 55 amps on the battery side, so that's pretty good load. So the inverter's about halfway loaded down. This can do 6,000 watts. And that's it. I'm just gonna let this cook my pizza. It's probably gonna take about 20 minutes, 15 minutes. So I'm gonna let this just run. If I have any issues with the test, I will stop it and let you guys know. But once the pizza's done, I'm gonna show you all the pizza cooked and we'll see how much batter we have left. Oh wow, it just kicked up. Dang, we're pulling 77 amps, you guys. 4,000 watts. But that's it, we're gonna let this thing run. And if you guys are curious, at 3600 watts, this battery is providing 30 amps. This battery is providing, oh, it was providing 26, but now the wattage jumped back down. And this one was doing about 20. So the load is pretty evenly spread because 30 amps for one of these batteries really isn't anything because these are rated for 100 amps. So I should easily be able to max this inverter out with just these two batteries, plus these four 100 amp hour batteries in series down there. So just something to keep in mind in case anyone's worried about stressing the batteries out. The oven's up to 285. It's a pretty good load, pretty big resistive load on your inverter. It is awesome to see that the 6000 XP does handle this load no problem. Something to keep in mind, you could power your whole house off of this as long as you didn't have your oven or stove, your water heater and your central air going all at once. Those are the three biggest uses of power. I have only electricity here, no natural gas. So the biggest loads I have are those three things. More than likely that's what you guys are gonna have as well. So just kind of keep that in mind. If you weren't running any of those big loads, the actual power use of your house is probably quite low. You know, if you're just running normal size appliances, you know, powering TVs and electronics and things like that. So that is something to keep in mind. Because when the oven does ramp up between 2,500 all the way up to 4,000 watts, up there it goes now, you know, you're more, you're using, at that point you are using almost more than half of what your inverter is capable of. In the future, I do want to actually upgrade this. You can get another 6,000 XP, put them in parallel. And maybe I'll even do that. But to be honest, I would rather have one big central inverter 
and then I, like I said I want to maybe power my house with it that'd be kind of cool also I'm doing this at night so there's no solar coming in to help supplement some of the power we're using my array is capable of about 34 to 3500 watts in direct sunlight during the summer and then I have my low frequency 12 volt system consisting of these batteries down here as well as this pack here has been running my fridge using this extension cord right here and I've had this running for about four days now and yeah so my fridge has been running for free this whole time so just kind of interesting I also am running one mini split as well but I have the cooling kind of pretty much turned off because I turned the thermostat all the way up with it on cool mode so right now just the fan is running but normally during the day this is pretty much the only load my system sees oh yes my pizza is pretty much cooked I went ahead and shut the oven off So as you can see, we're at 92% battery left. So we used like 5%, 6% battery, which is pretty good. And I have about close to 15 kilowatt hours of battery right here. So not too bad. 6,000 XP did it without an issue. So that's so far the biggest load I've been able to put on this. And it did awesome, as y'all saw, no issues there, which we would expect from such a good inverter. Anyways, that's it guys. I just wanted to show you all my little load test I was doing and kind of show off my system a little bit. Let me know if you guys have any questions and I'll see you all in the next video.